Hello folks, welcome back again. So this time, before we start going any further into our menus, uh, I thought we would expand on our harvestables, like the deer and the plants, and we'll add in some, some more items to be able to go around and harvest. First thing I want to do though, is I want to find my deer, right click, edit, because I want to also, in here, set leather strips because I want to make sure that when they get meat they also get the skin of it so we will also drag this out and get leather oh it's not how you spell leather get the leather strips move it this way a little bit integer plus integer now one thing we want to do real quick to alter our harvesting so that when we add our skill tree in later we can make it to where you harvest more I'm gonna add three more stats to our player base so I'm gonna add three variables this one's going to be meat harvest multiplier I'm gonna change it to an integer duplicate delete that go back call this one plant harvest multiplier and then duplicate one more time delete that part and call this or harvest multiplier so right now I'm gonna leave them all set to zero but this way we can get meat harp no wait that's right one more it's four not three duplicate leather harvest multiplier so compile that up and then here we want to get leather harvest multiplier and plus integer plus integer off of this set that there since this is zero when it's default it'll just add one to our leather but this way when we when our character levels up and they get stat points later on we can make it to where oh you're a better harvester now you get double the leather we add some to this and it'll add it to how much we get so we want to do the same thing over here so I'm gonna box select everything and just move it this way oh this too get meat harvest multiplier off of our meat to give want to integer plus integer add that in right there and then plug that in so that's all we need to do to update that So now out here, whenever we kill the deer, we'll get meat and leather. What I want to do inside of this green plant, I want to right click and open it up and on construction script, I want to run a branch. I want to right click, random integer in range minimum zero maximum I'll say between zero and a hundred and if that number is greater than or equal to 35 then we want to add a boolean and call it will have berries so that every time it's constructed it'll run this little check and if it pulls a number from here that's greater than this, greater than or equal to this, it'll set this to true. So now we can set our, in here in our harvest, we'll run a branch right here, grab out that will have berries. Off of false, we just want to destroy the actor because we don't want to give them berries if it's false. But on true, I'll drag out my player ref one more time. Get berries. 
set berries integer plus integer pull this out a little bit further get plant harvest multiplier integer plus integer and set that up I'm going to double click add a reroute node just so I can pull this way over and then plug it in so that either way it'll destroy the plant. But this way we'll be able to find berries sometimes and depending on our plant harvest multiplier it'll give us double berries, triple berries, whatever. So, but that's all we got to do to set that up. Okay. So now let's test both of those real quick. Kaboom. So that should have given me six. I can't be right. Oh, I know what that is. Let's find my inventory. Green plants, zero. Yellow plants, zero. Blueberries, zero. Zero. Cooked meat. Leathers. Ah, okay. Yeah, it was set to five. Iron ore, zero. Just kind of drop everything back down. Now let's test it. Yeah, everything's set to zero now. So. Harvest that. And I have raw meat and leather now. Got a green plant, but no berries. Let's try again. Green plant, no berries. Green plant, eh, hey, that one had berries. Cool. So, good deal. Maybe we'll drop that just to be a little bit more often. Oh, actually, it's. That was probably just bad RNG for me. So, save all real quick. In our harvestables folder, we want to right click and add another folder called ores. Just for prep work for later. So, plants. One thing we want to do, we'll duplicate our green plant. Call it yellow plant underscore BP. We'll open that up. We're just going to duplicate it out because it'll be a lot easier to just go in and adjust everything than it would be to do it all from the beginning. So we'll leave that exactly as it is. That's good. Harvest current. That's fine. We want to get that. We'll replace that with yellow plants. We want to take that away because we want to set yellow plants. Oh, one thing I forgot to do in the other one apparently is plant harvest multiplier. So we'll integer plus integer on that and then set that. And then hook that up there and the rest should be fine. So now we'll just adjust its static mesh, which I think the one I wanted was fern one. Yes, that's the one. It's not really yellow, but we'll, um, it'll be fine for now. Actually, let's see. I'll right, I'll go to its material, duplicate it. Yellow plant underscore mat. Double click, open that up. Let's see if maybe I can alter that. M left click for a multiply. Three left click for a constant color. Set it to a yellowish and then we'll multiply its, its material by that for the base color and see if maybe 
Not really. Maybe white. Just to see if it has any effect. Hmm. I don't guess that does what I thought it would. Oh well. Oh well, the plant's fine. I'll figure that out and I'll update that in a in a subsequent video. But for now, we've got our yellow plant. In the green plant, let's go ahead and adjust that. Get plant multiplier integer plus integer. This won't have any effect right now, like I said, but later on, once we get to the skill tree menu, it'll let us be able to harvest more if we invest skill points into it. So I'm gonna bring a few of those out just for testing. Yellow plants. No blueberries yet, though. Hey, that one had blueberries. Good deal. So let's get some green plants. So now we could craft even this potion. Yeah. Doesn't look like we could craft anything else right now, though. So one more thing that we want to set up, we want to go to our ores menu we just created, right click, create a blueprint class. You know what, no. We want to browse back to our green plant, duplicate it, and call it iron ore vein underscore bp. And now what we'll do, we'll just move that straight to the ores. You can just move it over. And now, instead of having to go through all the headache of setting everything up, we can just take these two out, that out, and all of this out. And we can take this out of the construction script. So what we want to do is we want to get iron ore, hook that to our plus right here, get ore harvest multiplier, hook that to the top one, and then we set our iron ore to this variable, or this, you know, that, all that. And then right here we'll come off and say destroy actor. Now what we want to do is change our mesh again. So I'm going to go to my search assets and I'm going to type in ore. Because part of the Infinity Blade Firelands pack is these pickup ores. Which will work for what we need. But I'm going to update its scale to be about 2 by 2 by 2 and the sphere radius to about 75. So now, drag it out. Test it out real quick. iron ore and no berries because that would be weird but now we got a little bit more that we can harvest from over time we'll start adding more and more and we'll add more animals and more plants more ore oh we want to save all that's hugely important Ooh, cancel did I make any differences to this? I'm just gonna apply it. Go 
I don't even think we're using that one. So, but so that's as, as simple as it is to add more plants. You can just duplicate the one you already got, make the small little adjustments that we made, find a good plant representative mesh in here, and then set it all up, and you're good to go. So, thanks for stopping by again.